Let's take a look at finding derivative of f of x equals ln cosine x. Step number one. Step number two, f prime of x. And now you make a couple of simple observations because you have the ln function, the natural log function, you have the cosine function plugged into it. That tells you this is a composition of two functions. In other words, it's telling you you got to use the chain rule. The chain rule states the following in this context. You differentiate the outside. Now, the outside function is the ln function. Remember over here on the side that the ln of, for example, u, when you differentiate this quantity, right, like that, that's going to give you 1 over u times the derivative of the inside. So when you have that, in our particular case, it's going to look like this. It's going to give you 1 over, then you put the cosine x in that position, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So in our case, it's going to be the x here of cosine x. Then you clean this up a little bit. So f prime of x equals 1 over cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine. That goes into this position. You're multiplying by it. Then you write this. So you have sine over cosine. So you end up with f prime of x equals negative sine of x over cosine x. But that's just equivalent by definition to the tangent function sine over cosine. So you end up with negative tangent of x and that is the derivative thanks so much for watching leave a like i'll see you in another video